My name is Mike Fuller. I'm the BBU Heights Constructor Construction Manager. Uh, behind us here is the spillway structure, which we just recently diverted the Nelson River and through the structure. The structure started roughly around 2015, and uh, the crews have been working very diligently to uh, get the gates working as well as the flow, the flow flowing through the river. Behind us here, you can see some equipment working, which is ties to the work in the cocker dam. We are currently working on the cocker dam uh, construction to divert all of the Nelson River in through the structure. The unique about this structure is that it's not connected to the powerhouse. There's a kilometer of embankment that uh, ties the two structures together. Uh, what you see behind us is the final diversion uh, and the final cocker dam that's going across the Nelson River. You can see that roughly the river is around 300 meters wide at this point. Um, before the structure came to it, it was a little over 400 meters wide, 450 plus. We are uh, working on, this is what we consider the south dam. This will be one of the final dams that we will be constructing part of the project. Uh, this also gives us the ability to uh, get to our other side. You can see there's a river in the way. Typically, it takes around two and a half to three hours to go around and cross the river at the uh, downstream dam. So we're pretty excited about uh, the ability to get to the other side in five, 10 minutes versus our three hours and be able to uh, engage a little more with our crews that are working on that part of the work. The dike roughly goes out about 11 kilometers from here. Hi, I'm Jacob Mum. I'm the senior project manager for BBE. Uh, it's early August here on the project and what you see behind me is the powerhouse structure. Immediately behind me is unit six. We've just finished placing concrete on the draft tube. Uh, yesterday or last night and they're doing some green cutting work and then adjacent to that is unit 5 uh, where they've got the soffit form work up for tail race and they're going to start placing that later in the week. Um, you can also see in the background you'll notice just the remnants of some uh, orange colored tarping and if you were to come here three or four months earlier we actually you'd see a lot more of that orange tarping. That orange tarping is critical to some of the hoarding activities that we have to put in place in order to support cold weather concrete placements. Uh, right now this season uh, we're currently one and a half months ahead of schedule. This past week we completed about 5,000 cubic meters of placements. That's roughly about 22 placements a week. Uh, this operation runs 24-7, so 24 hours a day. We've got the batch plan open, we've got a really active night shift, and this is an around-the-clock active uh, operation. Hi, I'm J.Q. Hicks. I'm uh, the project manager with BBE uh, here at the Kiosk Project. Uh, and BBE is a joint venture, Bechtel, Barnard, and Ellis Don. Just inside the, the service bay and the units one, two, and three behind me of the turbine building, they're basically enclosed right now. Uh, we're working with other subcontractors, other contractors. Uh, Boyth, who's a turbine generator contractor, is doing work behind us here. Uh, but if, what you can see here as far as all the civil work, all the concrete, all the steel, that's all done with BBE. And we did it self-perform. Um, like I said, most of the work we've done is homegrown. Uh, materials came from here on site. Um, and like I said, we've, uh, we've done this with all our own labor. So it's, uh, it's an exciting project, a lot of manpower, a lot of people power.